Good morning, everybody. Sunny here. Feeling way better today. So it's just funny how quickly things can shift like that. But that's, I mean, welcome to my life. Um, speaking of which, I thought it might be kind of fun today to kind of explain to you what my daily life is like. Um, I have a really basic understanding of um, neurological function and psychology, and I understand that having a good routine and habits to follow day in and day out will help you kind of prompt yourself subconsciously to do these things each day with a little bit more ease each time you do it. Um, so it can actually help with my insomnia if I follow a, you know, a bedtime routine um, that kind of leads me through the same activities that end at the same point. Um, I have found that that does help a little bit. Sometimes my insomnia flare-ups are so bad that it doesn't really help much at all, but um, just for overall, it does tend to have a positive effect on my ability to sleep. So um, I also follow a morning routine every day. Hello, Dova. <laughs> anyway, um, I follow a morning routine every day that kind of gets me through, um, you know, starting the day so that I can be as productive as I possibly can with what energy it turns out that I have on any given day. Like I said multiple times throughout this video series so far, it varies a lot. So, um, I've kinda, I'll get you started on, on what I go through every morning. Um, I try to wake up around 8 in the morning. I have to take my medications at 8 a.m. and four hours later at 12 and then four hours later at 4 p.m. This is because if I take my medications after 4 p.m., um, the steroid that I take, the uh, corticosteroid to treat my adrenal insufficiency, actually causes me to become, uh, makes it harder to sleep if I take it later on in the day. So I, you know, <laughs> wanting to keep my insomnia to a minimum, I can't take it later than that. And because I have to have four hours between each dose, that means I have to wake up at 8 a.m. I tried sleeping in, that really throws me off course, and it has a really negative effect, so unfortunately I really don't have the luxury of sleeping in when I want to. <laughs> so that kind of stinks, but honestly it's not that bad. So um, I wake up at 8 a.m., I have my medications right there, <laughs> excuse the messy drawer, um, but I'm able to kind of reach in there, take my meds, have a glass of water on hand. Sometimes after I take that medication, if I'm super tired, um, obviously having a really low energy day, I'll allow myself to sleep, but more often than not, I force myself to get up and uh, move around because that does kind of help jumpstart things sometimes. Uh, on occasion, yes, it can still be difficult to tell whether you're having a flare up or you're just not motivated. That's just, that's life. <laughs> so um, usually you can tell when it's that bad and you need to stay in bed, but for the most part, I try to keep myself moving. I get up right when my alarm goes off. I've got my echo right there that tells me the news in the morning. And the first thing I do, run to the bathroom. You know that part. Um, and then I come over here and I weigh myself um, to kind of keep my health in check. Um, unfortunately, due to my endocrine disorder, it, it is really hard for me to keep off weight. Um, not that weight has anything really to do with overall health, um, but in my case... Uh, obesity can really cause some serious issues with my existing health conditions. So it's really important for me to try to stay as healthy as I possibly can. And I found that weighing myself is a really great way to keep in check and uh, make sure I'm staying on track. So I wake up, take my meds, weigh myself, and then I make myself a nice pot of coffee. Um, and while that's brewing, I'll make the bed. Studies have shown that if you make the bed first thing in the morning, you are bound to be more productive. Um, that's something that I learned from a book called The Power of Habit. One of my all-time favorite books, highly recommended. Um, it'll teach you a lot of great tips. Um, but after the bed's made, I come in, get myself some breakfast, um, excuse the dishes uh, <laughs> that's left over from yesterday when I had that flare-up. That's something I'm definitely going to be doing right after this video is over. So don't judge. I'm trying my best, damn it. Okay. <laughs> so um, after I've you know made my breakfast, I'll actually sit down and I'm taking a couple of course or all classes right now on uh, psychology. Uh, one being the science of well-being, which is related to um, happiness and uh, how our brains actually perceive happiness. So it's been fascinating so far. Um, I actually aced my test yesterday, so pat myself on the back there. <laughs> um, also taking another class on uh, 
psychological morality, so or moral psychology is the better way to put it, but I'm, I'm really enjoying that one as well. Um, but once I'm done with my breakfast, I uh, can usually watch those videos while I eat. It's a system that works well for me. Um, I'll go out, tend to my garden if I can. It's nice. And then at that point, I can usually determine what my energy levels... Yes, hello! What my energy levels are going to be like for that day. So being as I have to take things day by day, um, usually at that point, I can feel how I'm feeling and tell, you know... What am I going to be doing today? So since I'm actually having pretty decent energy today, um, I'm definitely going to be doing those dishes. Um, but because of that energy, I'm actually going to be able to work in my exercise routine, um, which consists of virtual reality and uh, Ring Fit Adventure, which is that Nintendo Switch game that uh, uses this like uh, resistance ring and a leg strap, and you get a a good workout. Um, I really enjoy playing that game. It's a lot of fun. But the goal is to get my heart rate up, get myself moving. Um, I do have tachycardia because of my health issues, so I need to keep that in check as much as possible. Um, of course, you know, I have other hobbies that I can do throughout the day as well. I did that while I was watching my videos for class today. Um, but since I have the energy to exercise, I definitely will. Um, some days, like yesterday, where I didn't have energy at all. Um, I'll just spend the day resting, uh, binge watch some TV, catch up on those kinds of things, listen to a good audiobook, maybe play some relaxing video games. Um, sometimes I can't do anything but sleep. So um, <laughs> really, you just, you've got to roll the dice each day. Um, I don't know how many of you guys are fans of D&D, &D, Dungeons and Dragons. I'm a big old nerd, so this analogy works for me, but it's like, you wake up in the morning, and, of course, in D&D, &D, you, uh, you roll dice to get a random outcome. So here's our dice collection here. I'm going to get out this really nice set of die-hard dice, metal dice that we got. Absolutely love these. So this is a d20. You roll this, and you get a random number between 1 and 20. Say, wake up in the morning, I roll my dice, I get a 4. That's pretty below average, pretty bad. I'm not going to have much energy that day. Um, but then again, I might roll it, like today, get myself, that's not a 20, what I was hoping for, but imagine I rolled a 20 there. Yeah. So that's, um, that's kind of, hopefully, an analogy that makes sense for you guys. Um, I feel like I've been rambling a little bit, so I apologize about that, but um, hopefully that made some sense. But um, depending on my energy levels, that's, that's how I determine what I'm going to be doing throughout that afternoon. And then at nighttime, after I've had dinner, and I can just relax for a little bit, um, after 9 p.m. I always avoid screens because that light from the screens can actually keep your body from going into sleep mode. So instead of looking at screens after 9 p.m., I actually turn to this uh, kit over here that I've put together for myself. Um, I've got a Tibetan singing bowl and what's called a Buddha board, which is really cool. Um, you use just a regular old soft brush and some water, and as you paint on the board with the water, it kind of shows black lines there. I don't want to get it all out right now, but you can find videos of those online, and it's just a really great way to get into a state of flow without making much of a mess. So um, I'll sit down, listen to an audiobook, um, take a little bit of melatonin to, you know, my body is deficient in all those hormones. <laughs> So, um, the melatonin helps me relax to get to sleep, and while I'm waiting for that to set in, I'll play around with this, listen to an audiobook, and then sometimes, if, if I feel like it, I'll play around with that Tibetan singing bowl. I don't have any illusions about any <laughs> real health benefits coming from that, but it is really relaxing. Um, and usually after that, if I'm not having a bad insomnia flare-up, I'm able to lay down into bed. I put on sounds of thunderstorms and a fireplace on my echo there that plays throughout the night and helps lull me into a really good restful sleep. Wake up the next day, roll the dice again, and see what the outcome is. Um, I apologize for this video being a bit longer than they usually are for this short video series that I had planned for this week, but I really wanted to kind of share how varied my days can be while still having that structure that I try to keep with it. Um, 
again, like I said, sometimes I might, like, my energy levels are so bad that I kind of fall off the wagon and I can't keep up with that structure, but for the most part, I, I tend to stick with it. And um, the more I try, the easier it is to do that. So that's the system that works for me. Dova, do you have anything that you'd like to say to people before we go? Yeah? Yeah? What's up? Uh-huh. You ready for me to stop recording and then just give you all of my attention? Yeah? Okay. Well, you heard it here, folks. I gotta go play with my cat. Bye. <laughs>